I love photography, particularly street photography. I, I've always fancied myself as a bit of a Cartier-Bresson, you know, going out there and catching what he called the decisive moment, that, 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 that scene, that, that moment in the street, which is not only beautiful and uh, says, tells you something about the street, but it tells you something about yourself. It kind of captures the essence in a split second. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, very few of us can go into the street with our camera. So I want to share with you um, a street wisdom comes home technique, which we call human camera, that's going to allow you to become a photographer in your own house without even having a camera. When I was learning photography, my teacher Liz told me that actually a good photographer can probably do a really decent collection just standing still, just by by looking around at, the, at their surroundings, just like their answers are everywhere, so great pictures are. And I want us to sort of explore that idea. So, so find yourself a room where you feel comfortable and uh, people aren't gonna think you're too bonkers doing this exercise. And what I want you to do is I want you to become a camera. And the way I'm gonna ask you to do this is to close your eyes. That's it, close your eyes. So obviously, you're in black. Now you know how a camera works. A camera takes a flash of light from the outside and imprints it on a film. Um, exposes the film. Now, it, what we're going to do is we're going to use our retina as that film. And I mean, I'll show you how we're going to do this. You click your fingers, and when you click your fingers, you blink your eyes. So, so there, I got a shot of Elsa, who's behind it, and she, by the way, is a good photographer, and she's behind the camera at the moment. But if I turn over here, and I go click, I have a window with a sort of blossom behind it. Okay, so the idea is we often don't see things because we're seeing too many things. It's just an endless stream of things. But when you, when you limit what you're seeing, you focus on it and you capture it in a way that you don't normally. Now to make this useful, so this is a fun technique, but to make this useful, I want you to think of a question that you, you'd like fresh answers to, just as if you were doing a street wisdom. Yeah, so for me, um, mine might be, Okay, tell me something about October. I don't even know what that means, but I'm sort of in my, that sort of opened my mental horizon about the autumn. Tell me something about the autumn. So I'm in, in the room. Now, the nice thing about this camera is it can move in three through 360 degrees. And also it's got a nice swivelly top so it can go up and down, yeah? So what I want you to do is, tune-ups are really helpful if you can do the tune-ups where you You've noticed what attracted you, you've slowed down, and you've seen the beauty and everything. You'll be in a good, good state for this. So I want you to tune yourself up, and then close your eyes, ask the question, what do I need to know about October? Now, rather than just clicking, I want you first to ask that question and allow your body to be intelligent. Mind seems to want to turn this way, okay and the head seems to want to go up here. October, tell me about October. Really allow yourself a little bit of time, like a potential, you know, a real professional photographer would, is to, get the, is to get the moment right, but you're not doing this by looking, you're doing it by feeling. Whoa, we're going this way now. Okay, and let's just see. October. Okay, so what I saw was my table, I saw my laptop and I saw um, my conducting stool and a tripod. And what that tells me, what that tells me is you're gonna be spending time here, turn the, conducting as well. I mean, think about conducting your life from here. Okay, that's what I just got. So I got, it, I got one picture and it made me think slightly differently, get an insight about October. Now you try.